neza uruhare rwacu icyo duhitamo icyo dushaka kuba wa bugwa ko mezo cya cyangwa mezo cya cyangwa mezo hari cyo wavugwa hari cyo ari kugenda uvuga kire gusobanukirwa icyo turi cyo icyo dushaka okay cyangwa tubona tuko kundi ibyo bikamureba Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, we are just hearing the president of Rwanda, uh, His Excellency Paul Kagame. Welcome, as usual, to Afro Political Consultant and the Communications, the program run by uh, Yasini Chiaga Misago, the consultant and the president founder of Afro Political Consultant and the Communications Afro Political Consulting and the Communications the Global iWatch we spread the message we produce the facts and then uh, you disseminate the information so today we are here to introduce the program about Rwandan President Paul Kagame. The opposition parties and the international community always accusing Rwanda, President Paul Kagame and the RPF government, that there is no political space. There is no political space. Let us hear what Mr. Kagame is talking about about political space. There is no political space means that Kagame denies the freedom, uh, the political engagement of other political members, opposition parties, civil societies, organizations and NGO to present their issues either uh, from the critical ground to, to, do, to, to present their political space within the government advising the government as you know that political parties they are there to take a power or to advise the government so president Paul Kagame is challenging this at the ground that he cannot allow uh, political parties uh, to, to exercise to challenge his government when you open political space it means that we are going to open a critical, challenging discussion on different issues. Compliance, you are going to talk about uh, accountability, government accountability, and transparency. Transparency, accountability, and compliance of the, 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 the masses or the, the government. So when there is no exercise and freedom of space, political space, democracy within the country, even if you are building the economy, uh, it is uh, the wastage of time because there is a need inclusion, not exclusion. I have used the term COA, Rwanda, to describe that Rwanda today is governed by a minority or a certain group of people uh, or large the majorities and the opposition parties, most of them they are in exile. Does that mean uh, political space? This is what uh, I want Mr. President Paul Kagame uh, <coughs> will answer today. <coughs> in this program, uh, I'm going to talk about political space in Rwanda. What is political space? That's what the concept that we need to look at for today. Uh, what is, if you say that uh, political space, what do we mean, the term political space? <coughs> A Rwandan journalist from New Times, he said that there has been criticisms of the Rwandan government alleging that a lack of political space in the country, uh, criticism that has sparked off the world spread and the denouncing of the Rwandan government that it, there is no political space. A political space, I will define that concept, but this is what New Times 
uh, in Rwanda analyze it that uh, uh, the, their government or the government is is, is just being accused for uh, li restricting political space towards other political parties or for other opposition parties, civil societies and uh, NGOs within the government in order to give an opportunity what we call the core Rwanda or RPF to enjoy the privileges of the political privileges and uh, power consolidation in Rwanda which might be true according to my analysis. Afro, political communications, uh, we are giving you the true information and you disseminate the message. What is uh, political space? Before, uh, sometimes I call myself a philosopher, because a philosopher, he will, ne he he will never be uh, happy. Uh, a philosopher, he will never be satisfied. Uh, a philosopher, is a person uh, who doesn't feel at home always. I don't feel at home. That's why I'm living in exile. I don't feel. Uh, uh, I don't feel. Uh, I don't feel at home when I see one is uh, politically are suffering. Uh, even if the an economy, the economy is moving well, but as long as there is no political space, freedom of freedom, democracy, liberty, fraternity, freedom, liberty. Uh, fraternity and human rights within the state in Rwanda, I cannot agree with President Kagame to justify that Rwanda is a democratic country. In actual, in actual sense, uh, I, I, I would like to just, I am trying to say, or I am trying to say that uh, Rwanda is economically performing well, but there is no political space and uh, democracy within the country. This is from my disseminate, I will answer the question. Thank you. Uh, this is what New Times said, that there is no, Rwanda is being criticized, that lack of political space, which is true. Uh, the New Times is a government supported news paper in Rwanda, which is one of the only few English uh, newspapers. Uh, they said that the government of Rwanda is criticized for lacking political space. Political space, this new, according to New Times, they said that is a realm in which opinions are exchanged between individuals and the public or the public and the government. New Times, they said that what we call political space is about exchanging opinions. That is a minor, a minor uh, definition of political space very very narrow it's a narrow uh, definition uh, it's an ambiguous definition to understand what you call political space I'm talking to New Times Rwanda and the government of Rwanda if you see that political space is just exchanging ideas I am totally disagree with you they are still you are remaining you are trying to hide the other part we can exchange ideas, but we disagree. Is that political space? We can exchange ideas and you chase me out of the country. Is that political space? We can exchange ideas and you create laws that restrict my ideas. Is that political space? I'm trying to show you the situation which is in Rwanda, politically, not economically. <clears throat> That's one, that is New Times. Second, according to the German philosopher, I am a philosopher, uh, there is a German philosopher as well, New Times quoted a German philosopher uh, and a sociologist called Jürgen Habermas, saying that political space is where citizens freely participate politically in their community through rational critical discussion. At least this one uh, might be, uh, but he still left another information about what you call political space. Critically, the government and the citizen engage in two critical discussion. That is political space. Rwanda and New Times. Still very narrow argument to understand what you call political space. Uh,
I'm giving you the meaning of political space. Afro political consultant and communications. Political space is the ability of an oppositional idea. Right now, this message is going to New Times Rwanda and the government of Rwanda that the definition which they give about political space is very narrow. It is unsatisfied, unjustifiable politically. And I challenge this definition that if it is what the government in Rwanda applying or using, it is very narrow, should not be utilized to create a political space in Rwanda. It is not about discussion. Listen, political space is the ability of an, just ability of an oppositional idea, critique of an, uh, an idea. I have said that political space is an ability or is the ability of an oppositional or different oppositional ideas or critical of the dominant order to manifest itself and open up a new revolutionary possibilities. I repeat, political space uh, is an ability or is an oppositional idea or a critical or a critique of the dominant order to manifest itself up a new river just to, to manifest is, is itself up into uh, a new revolutionary possibilities just to open up a new revolutionary of uh, just the uh, possibilities within the country uh, i want to 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 repeat this information uh, the meaning of political space to the government of rwanda and uh, and um, uh, the new times Rwandani newspapers that what we call political space is the ability of an oppositional idea and the critique of the dominant order to manifest itself and open up new revolutionary possibilities, exchanging ideas, open up new revolutionary possibilities. We can enter into a, a critical discussion oppositional discussion. This is what we call political uh, space. We enter into oppositional uh, idea and then these oppositional ideas for both si sides help us to uh, just to, to, to eat one side maybe one side it just one critique of the dominant order to manifest itself up into a revolutionary possibilities. We can all enter into uh, two different arguments, and then one argument manifests itself critically and through oppositional means, and then create possibilities. That's why we call it political space. A place where oppositional ideas or critique of the dominant order to manifest itself critique of the dominant order manifest itself and open up a new revolutionary possibilities. I can create my argument dominating the RPF policies today that uh, going to Congo is totally wrong and I argue direct to the government of Rwanda that he should not go to fight uh, Congolese. This is my idea and then the RPF they bring their idea. One idea which dominates another, it can create new alternatives, possibilities. This is what we call political space. It is not there in Rwanda. According to political parties and the international community, according to my observation and our research from Afro political communications, Let us hear what President Pao Kagame said, but the New Times of Rwanda, uh, Rwandan newspaper, the definition that he gave, it is totally unjustifiable and convincing definition. It is very narrow to understand what we call political space. Let us hear what uh, uh, President Kagame is saying. Uh, here and then from there we shall proceed. Uh, we can continue to understand about this. The, the discussion is Kagame really opened a political 
uh, space in Rwanda in his government. Listen. President Kagame is saying that he should explain what one these are. Anybody who wants to ex talk, just describe them different way is free. Disagree with what they say um, or what they talk about Rwanda that there is no political space. According to the president, uh, Mr. Kagame claiming that uh, people who collaborate with the Bagosora uh, and the organized the genocide in Rwanda uh, were totally the, the, the criminals of uh, what is happening today in Rwanda. These are the criminals, uh, the, the, the critique of uh, the freedom, uh, democracy which he believes uh, Rwanda is enjoying today. He's also turning against these people, they are what, what he called uh, the hypocrites, people who uh, turned against uh, their government, uh, people who left the country and became an enemy of the, just the enemies of the state of Rwanda. Our discussion today is Rwanda a democratic country is Rwanda a free political space? Listeni uh, Yasini uh, Misago, Yasini Chirage Misago, the political consultant today, I am analyzing uh, Kagame's government uh, just to understand whether uh, really Rwanda has what you call a political space. Political space is where two dominant ideas one I dominant idea manifests itself to create new possibilities within the country, either through oppositional means or through discussion. This is what we call a political space. Two uh, English writers, uh, Western political thinkers, of which most of the world democratic countries today are following their ideas. One is uh, Thomas Hobbes. Thomas Hobbes. Uh, uh, he said that uh, that uh, uh, people, individuals, he's talking about the state of nature. He's, he's looking at an individual as uh, an animal, the animal uh, which is against one another in the state of nature. He said that people who uh, mentally, uh, physically, they live in the state of war, state of different ideas. And this, is, this system or this state of nature is only be uh, uh, capable of uh, organizing, advancing itself w or when they, they, just they, they, they emerge or they organize and vote one leader who can control others. And then when you give up your freedom, you surrender your freedom, uh, you surrender your rights, to, 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 uh, to what you call uh, to the, maybe to the prince or maybe to the leader, you are no longer have those rights. It is the leader to decide for you. This is Thomas Hobbes' ideas in simple term, uh, as you can see different countries in Africa. Well, as one thinker uh, known as John Locke, he totally disagreed with the Thomas Hobbes. He said that in the state of nature, Naturally, human beings or man was born free. Man was born with the ideas of freedom, fraternity, democracy, and natural rights, which no one or no other man 
can take just can take the, uh, these rights. So this is what the opposition, the critical President Kagame, trying to to to, to analyze, trying to express that uh, they have the natural rights to challenge the government, to create political parties, to uh, to initiate uh, opposition parties, but there is no rights for these people to challenge the government, to compete with the government politically, to take a power or to express their views to the masses, Kagame does not give them a chance. Our PF government does not open this space free to everyone. You are at political communications, Afro, uh, we are analyzing the situation uh, or the allegations that Rwanda it is totally authoritarian regime, a regime where there is no uh, political freedom and democracy for local and local organizations, civil societies and opposition parties. The government of President Kagame itself has become the animal farm does not accept different opinions and the criticisms of the government to express their views openly, to challenge the government. And that's why you see Rwandan National Congress is in exile other opposition parties like FD and King, the President Ngabire Omhosa is in prison, and the different uh, organization opposition parties, most of them they are in exile because of uh, this political lack of political space. Politicians, some they have been uh, murdered in exile for unknown reasons, and no uh, suspect ever brought to trial. Uh, other politicians afraid the country because of the allegations that there is no political space in the country. Uh, as you have heard President Kagame, he said that uh, those who criticize Rwanda that there is no political freedom, they should think of their own ideas, their own problems, rather than intruding into Rwandan problem. The state of, uh, of uh, the state presidents claimed that uh, Rwanda they should define their own problems rather than being uh, seen by the intruders. Uh, Afro political communications and consulting, we are delivering a message: Is there political space in Rwanda? This is the question we are asking. This is the question we are asking you. We believe that. Uh, uh, despite of the economic uh, uh, just development taking place in Rwanda, uh, empirical fact, there is no political space. No opposition parties. The opposition parties which are there are those which are, uh, always form coalition with the government. But those who suppose seem to challenge uh, RPF, Rwandan Patriotic, Patriotic Front, they are in exile and advocating or fighting for the freedom, democracy, fraternity, liberty of Rwanda, Rwandese, and to give, to be given a chance to express their views uh, politically and challenge the government democratically, just democratically, whether to take a power or to advise the government. Ah, information. Political space is still shrinking. Political space is still shrinking in Rwanda. August 3rd, 2003, Last year, Kigal August 1st, 2003. On July uh, 31st, 2003, the Rwandan Minister of Local Government officially presented the Rwandan uh, Governance Board, Rwandan Governance Board, which they call RGB, Rwandan Governance Board, the state institution. This is a state institution monitoring, responsible monitoring and the regis uh, registration of political parties. It was given power on registration of all political parties in Rwanda. It is known as Rwanda Governance Board. On this occasion, Minister James Mosoni, James Mosoni, he said that it was evidence that there was democracy in the country he argued that there is democracy in the country, James Simpson. The political parties, FD, FDU, Front for Democratic 
uh, off front the uh, United Democratic Forces United Democratic Forces in Hingi uh, the president now is in jail for all 15 years Ngabire Omhoza uh, is far from sharing this, the, the, the political space Ngabire claim that she tried to register the party but it was re, uh, closed on the ground on the charges that uh, the opposition president had the other cases inciting for the genocide and denying the genocide that it existed uh, Rwandan Governance Board is a state institution. It was run by the government. It was up to the just is the watch, as you see, Afro political communication is, is the eye watch of political parties, the performance of political parties in Rwanda. But the laws, <coughs> what I want to show you later on that political space, what do we mean for political space? There should be no restrictions. Political parties should be free to do whatever they need. There should be no uh, critical uh, laws to bar these political parties, civil community, uh, community organizations to engage into challenging and oppositional discussion with the government in order to intrude themselves to penetrate themselves into other means of possibilities for the betterness of Rwandan people, to create a ground enjoyable by everyone. This is what they mean. We need a discussion between the government. We present our challenging or our views with the government against those of the government and the government the, we outweigh which decision, which idea better than the other, and then we create the poss possibilities for good governance. But it is only RPF which is doing this job. Other parties, they are in exile. Afro political communication is yes, I, I know Rwanda, I spent, uh, I grew up in Rwanda, I know everything. Uh, I've been a leader, student leader in Rwanda. Uh, so I, I am an, an African, uh, I've been to neighboring countries of Rwanda, Burundi, Uganda, uh, Congo. I know all this what I'm talking about, empirical, empirical facts. I'm a philosopher who, da, who believe in the well-being of everyone. I argue that uh, President Kagame, he still lacks what he call political space, democracy, freedom, and the rights of the people to be free. We shall go to that direction later on. <coughs> po uh, point number four. For political parties to obtain registration according to the Rwandan Board of Governance, it must hold a